want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everyone, I'm Tom Barilli and this is the Joe Blow Movie Network's Easter Egg Countdown. This week we throw ourselves right in the middle of Team Iron Man and Team Captain America with Marvel's biggest superhero slugfest yet, Captain America Civil War. This film gives us our favorite Avengers duking it out in an action-packed third installment to the Captain America series, filled with secrets, surprises, and little touches you just might have missed. So let's get started. Dead. Bitch. Damn it. Two of the Winter Soldier's trigger words are 17 and Homecoming. This is a reference to Spider-Man Homecoming, which opens in 2017. Falcon's drone is nicknamed Red Wing, a reference to the comic book version of the superhero, whose sidekick was an actual bird. The mercenary holding the vial is played by Damon Poitier. Poitier also appeared in the Avengers post credit scene as Thanos. Out of curiosity... Jim Rash cameos as a member of the MIT faculty. Rash also played the Dean on NBC sitcom Community, with episodes directed by the Russo brothers. Alfrey Woodard appears as Miriam, a grieving mother. Woodard also appears on the Netflix series Luke Cage as Mariah Dillard. His name was Charlie Spencer. Woodard's character is also a reference to Miriam Sharp, whose son died in the comic version of Civil War and triggered the Superhero Registration Act. Who are you? My name is Zemo. Zemo is a reference to Marvel Comics villain Baron Zemo. The man Zemo tortures is Colonel Vasily Karpov. Even if the whole world is telling you to move, it is your duty to plant yourself like a tree. Sharon Carter's eulogy for Peggy Carter is a direct quote from Amazing Spider-Man number 537, which Captain America quotes to Spider-Man. It is actually a quote by Mark Twain. Bucky is seen buying plums in the Bucharest marketplace. Plums are currently used to assist those suffering from memory loss due to Alzheimer's disease. Bucharest was chosen as Bucky's location as a nod to actor Sebastian Stan's birth country of Romania. Bucky's confinement cell is marked as Deck 23. This is a nod to Disney, Marvel's parent company, and their annual D23 celebration. Peter Parker is wearing a pizza t-shirt, a nod to his job as a pizza delivery boy what? in Spider-Man 2. It's so hard for me to believe that she's someone's aunt. Yeah, well, they come in all shapes and sizes, you know. Tony Stark remarking on how attractive Aunt May is is a nod to Robert Downey Jr. and Marissa Tomei playing love interests in the 1990s on Chaplin and Only You. Move or you will be moved. Black Panther's bald female companion is a member of the Dora Milaje, Wakandan royalty's highly trained bodyguards. In the background of the airport, you can see the blue stair car from Arrested Development. The Russo brothers directed multiple episodes of the series. Ant-Man riding Hawkeye's arrow is a direct recreation of the cover of Avengers number 223. When Ant-Man says, It's your conscience. We don't talk a lot these days. It's a quote from Finding Nemo. Okay, tiny dude is big now. He's big now. Debut of Giant Man, who was a founding member of the Avengers in the comics. Photos of Dr. Theo Brassard are actually images of director Joe Russo. What do I look like? Uh, I don't know. I've been picturing a redhead. You must be thinking of someone else. Tony Stark saying he pictured be. Friday as a redhead is both a reference to her appearance as a hologram in Marvel Comics and to voice actress Carrie Condren. The futurist, gentlemen! Futurist is here! Hawkeye calling Tony Stark the Futurist is a nod to Robert Downey Jr.'s music album of the same name. You blew three bucks trying to win that stuffed bear for a redhead. What was her name again? Dolores. You called her Dot. Bucky and Steve discuss a redhead named Dolores, nicknamed Dot. This is a reference to the character of Dot from ABC series Agent Carter. Bucky loses his left arm, continuing a pattern of characters losing a limb in all of the MCU films since the beginning of Phase 2. Iron Man in Captain America's pose is an exact copy of a frame from Civil War No. 7. Cap saying, I could do this all day, is a reference to the same line in Captain America, the first Avenger. Up, I could do this all day. An iconic shot of the Wakandan statue from the Black Panther comics. Alt-J's song, Left Hand Free, plays over the credits, a nod to Bucky's arm. Nod, 
And that's all for this installment of the Joe Blow Movie Network Easter Egg Countdown. If you caught any Easter eggs we didn't, make sure to leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. For the Joe Blow Movie Network, I'm Tom Barilli.